I'm Veronica Decker, and welcome to Beauty and Fashion Talks here on Arise News. Join me today as we talk about big fashion brands embracing diverse shades of beauty and color, and the embodiment of black culture in global fashion. Makeup is something every female has reckoned with every single day. Now, whether you wear it or you don't, you're always making decisions about wearing it or not, or how you're wearing it and what that means. Well, realize this, and that's why today's show is all about this beauty essentials. First, I'll be bringing you our coverage of Lancome's West African unveiling of new ranges of makeup for women of color. After which, I'll be speaking with Yemi C. Seriki, beauty blogger and professional makeup artist. It promises to be an interesting show. Keep watching because Fashion and Beauty Talks will be right back. Our customers are focused, versatile, superheroes. Our customers are also the most important people in our world. So we listen, partner, and give solutions that make a difference in their world. At First Bank, we will always put you first. You first. First Bank. Nigeria. We are 198 million productive people with over 900,000 square kilometers of fertile land. Nigeria's banking system has emerged strong and resilient from the 2016 crisis, which has enhanced our productivity in agribusiness and manufacturing. Come invest in Nigeria's agribusiness, manufacturing, and value added mining. Enjoy the Central Bank of Nigeria led initiatives in funding interventions, stabilized exchange rate, friendly capital repatriation regime, and many more. The Central Bank of Nigeria's robust monetary policy and interventions under President Buhari's administration had positioned the economy to target and attain a GDP growth of 6% with a strong and growing external reserves. Come invest in Nigeria. Nigeria, ready for business. Welcome back to Fashion and Beauty Talks on Arise News. I'm Veronica Decker. Now, last weekend, Lancome launched its Tent Adult Ultra Wear Foundation, available in 40 shades in the West African market. The leading cosmetic company capitalized on the influence of leading women in Nigeria. For its campaign, Arise correspondent Oji Okwe was there to cover the unveiling. Let's take a look. three years, Lancome has empowered women with its skincare, cosmetic brand, and makeup line. Today, the French brand has raised the bar even higher with the launch of its new Tentodile Foundation right here in Lagos, Nigeria. There are 43 women being unveiled as brand ambassadors, and they have 40 different shades. I am so excited, and I can't wait to know what my shade is. Tell me, how were you chosen to be a brand ambassador? For, for Lancome, coming into Nigeria, the strategy for the campaign was to look for women who are not just successful, but are also role model. They're accomplished in their field, in whatever they do, but also role models who have also made significant impact in the society. And I know that you're a hero. What does that mean? Well, what happened was Lancome decided that we're going to have 40 women representing 40 shades of my shade, my power. And then there are three women who have been termed heroes because of their stories, their powerful stories. And I think more than ever, my inspiration is my story. So 
I am happy to be one of the three heroes. And beyond that, I wear the title of Godmother. So tell me, what do you think, what do you make of this, of the fact that Lancome is here in Nigeria? What does it mean to you? Um, I think it just means that Nigeria, the Nigerian beauty industry is expanding and that is no bad thing. That is amazing. It's exciting to see um, attention being paid to this beauty industry because there are a lot of talents here and a lot of uh, women here that should be included and celebrated. I mean, it shows how far we've come, right? You know, like Nigeria is on the map and then things like this just make us even more. I mean, we've come a long way. I'm just proud to be a part of it. A lot to me because it's, I think the African woman is she's resilient and a woman of color you know there's this there's something vibrant about her and that the world can recognize that she exists and that she is as powerful as any other woman in the you know in the other parts of the world is it's it's beautiful it's a great experience for her and you know for our daughters that are coming up now they they can be whatever they want to be the stage is there the platform is there the world is global now it's one village you you know, it's one global village right now, so whatever your dream is, you can achieve it. And having companies like this come down here, you know, just inspires you to want to do more, so yes. So tell me, what is your shade? Number eight. My shade is nine. For me, it's amazing that the first time I used Lancome, I couldn't imagine, because all my years, I've always mixed um, foundations. I use this, I use that because I didn't have the perfect shade for me. So when nine came, it was like, wow, finally, my, hus my hustling days for the right shade is over. So I'm so happy that nine is my shade. It just encompasses everything I always wanted in my beauty for my foundation. I know that you do have your own makeup brand, is that right? Yes, I do. Okay, what does it mean for you? What does it mean to you for Lancome, a huge global company like this, to come into our market? Do you feel any kind of threat? Um, no, these days, everything is all about partnerships. Um, I've used Lancome for years, and it's such a fantastic brand. I'm happy they're coming into the Nigerian market, so getting it is going to be pretty much easier. Um, BM Pro is an indigenous uh, brand. Um, we have a lot of fantastic products. Um, with Lancome, Lancome is, is huge. I love their foundations. I have my own eyeshadows, so we're going to use everything to, uh, you know, these products together. There's no, um, it's not a threat. It's, it's actually um, more of an advantage for us, the local makeup artists, because now we're able to um, get the products easier and um, we we're going to have access to the wide range of products they're introducing into the market. So it's, um, it's a win-win for everyone. To have Lancome introduce these different shades for our African women. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know what? What is good with Lancome is a perfect combination with skincare and makeup. You know, it's really complicated to uh, to, to, to convince the people to use uh, um, skincare before foundation, before makeup. So here you have the perfect combination and the, the perfect ritual to, to, yeah. So today I'm here to show them to do makeup so right. quickly. Wow. Time is money right. and you don't have time to do your makeup. So have you followed this whole process? as, as as a fashion influencer, have you followed the whole process of them coming in and the photo shoot and all of the um, people that are named brand ambassadors? Do you know half of them? Do you know anything? Well, um, I followed it because I know it's like 40 shades. I don't know who and who, but I, I have a few ideas because I saw a few things on social media, so I have a few ideas. But I think they're going to like unveil like most of them today. Maybe I'll be on it. Who knows? Round of applause, thank you. Tonight, I'd like to celebrate the 40 women, my shade, my power. And I'd like, like to celebrate the three heroes. And I'd like to thank Lancome for making me the godmother of the entire campaign. So I just need a wand to grant your request. Once again, congratulations to Lancome for coming to the destination of all destinations when it comes to beauty.
you have made the right choice and you have taken the right decision. We look forward to more of your product unveiling tonight and thereafter. Congratulations. It's a party now and we're so excited. We've spoken to all those women with such positive social influence in Nigeria. This is the first international campaign for the brand L'Oreal in Africa and we're excited about what this means for the empowerment of the African women. And we're looking forward to more collaborations like this and we hope that Lancome and all the other international brands embrace all our different that was absolutely amazing. I really had an amazing time. I was at the event being part of the Lancome um, ambassadors for this wonderful campaign. It was a, a beautiful thing, introducing beauty into this market. It's time now for a break, but don't touch your TV remote. Don't go anywhere, because I'll be speaking with makeup entrepreneur and beauty blogger Yemisi Seriki after the break. Stay tuned.